guys that never kicked off in the NFL season before? Just how special is this to you? Yeah, I mean, I was a part of it um, in 2016. Um, you know, anytime you start a new season, it's exciting. There's opportunities ahead, and uh, you know, you're, you're always interested in, in what the journey is going to look like. So I'm excited for our team. I'm excited for our fan base and, and the NFL overall. Really that was the same team that beat you in the Super Bowl, right? Is this a little different than the Rams? You know? yeah, that, that one, <laughs> yeah, that one was, uh, it was tough. Uh, but everything happens for a reason, so uh, you learn from it. Mike Hyde uh, is one of the new captains this year. Um, why was it important to make sure that he, he was on that list? Yeah, and he was a captain last year. Uh, he was, yeah. Um, so sometimes... I think you guys get the overall list, but what happens uh, is we don't send everyone out for every coin flip, so maybe that gets a gives you a distorted view of who the captains are. But he, he was the captain last year, also. Yeah, sorry. With Bills, what does it mean for him stepping in, and are you afraid about role? Yeah, I mean, I think you're talking about an, the impact that a player is making on a team and the influence that someone carries, in this case, a, a veteran player that's played at a very high level for a long time. Um, uh, I've been really pleased with that process of him getting to know us, us getting to know him. Um, you know, he is uh, certainly a phenomenal player, but he's also a phenomenal person. And um, I think that's, uh, that's sometimes what goes maybe not as celebrated, um, but I think he really fits into our culture, and, and he's really added a ton to our football team. John, is there any way to quantify just how disruptive Aaron Donald can be in the middle? Yeah, I mean, he's obviously, uh, you know, the best player in the in the NFL on the defensive side, and, and you turn the tape on in the first three plays, you don't have to go any further than that. You're seeing him make an impact on the game and, uh, you know, interrupt offensive rhythm and, you're just trying to get a play run, and he's he's uh, he's he's uh, blowing it up. So, um, uh, ex wrestler, I would add. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, he's a phenomenal player. So, uh, Ryan Bates obviously will be part of that in the middle of that line. How how good do you feel going in? Obviously, you resign him in the offseason. How, how good do you feel that, that Bates is at least established and maybe might be more ready for that that game than he would have been? Couple years ago, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's going to be a, a team effort um, inside there with with uh, with Donald and trying to get him, trying to just get him to um, stay where he is for once. I mean, it's you watch it in the division when they play. Um, it's it's 60 minutes of, uh, of of straining really, and that's what we have to do. We've got to strain and work together, communicate, and and it's got it's never just one guy. It's got to be all five. Obviously, um, two young corners on the boundary, uh, Christian Becker maybe in the mix there. But Taron, I mean, he is a vet at this point. Obviously, he's played a lot of football for you guys. How important is he in this match, especially going up against Alvin Sessions for Cup? Yeah, I mean, a uh, phenomenal player in, in Cup. And uh, it's been interesting to watch his career take off and him develop over the years. Um, uh, you know, haven't played him a ton, but uh, a lot of respect for for what they do, and then in this case, what what Cup's able to been able to do, and uh, he's earned every every ounce of his recognition. So it'll be a big challenge for us that way, um, like they will uh, as a team, and they're they're defending t uh, Super Bowl champs. So uh, at their place, um, so we've just, we got to play good team ball. How much can those young guys lean on Terry? Yeah, he's, he's learned a lot over the years. I mean, um, those guys, uh, those young guys, uh, they seem like they are open to learning from just about anybody, which is good. We've got good veteran leadership on our team, and uh, I count on those guys a lot. Sean, how consistent of a message have you had regarding managing expectations going into this season? Uh, you know, we talked about it at the, at the front end of the time, you know, we got together in training camp, maybe a little bit in the spring, late in the spring. Um, you know, we're really focused on us and what we're what we're trying to get done, and um, it does us no good to go out there and try and be someone we're not. And uh, I think we just stick with who we are, and, and uh, it's gotten us this far, and we just take it one game at a time here. Do you think last season expectations were elevated, maybe more so than they were previous in your regime here? Did you learn things from how to handle things a year ago that can help this year? Yeah, absolutely. I think you learn every year. 
um, whether it's a good season, bad season, low expectations, high expectations. Uh, that's uh, that's the journey of the NFL, and and I think all the while it, it makes you better as you move forward on the field, off the field. Uh, and I think we've got a lot of guys uh, and staff really overall that appreciate that that journey. Yeah, you'll see him out there today. Uh, we'll see how he does. He's gonna. He looks to be in line for a, an expanded role offensively. Um, given what he went through last year and he had some downs uh, last season, how has he maybe responded to those challenges? And what's your confidence level if he does see that expanded role on offense that he can be a guy like Cole was for you, who may see you know 10, 12 targets a game at times? Yeah, you know he'll be his own his own person, his own player. Uh, Cole was phenomenal in there for us and. Uh, I think Isaiah will do a good job just the same in terms of what he does and how he does things. Uh, a little bit of a different player. Um, but uh, I, I've been very impressed with Isaiah, Isaiah overall. Um, he came back in the spring, uh, re-signed, obviously, and, and uh, he's a big part of what we do. Tim Settle practiced today? I'm sorry? Tim Settle, he practiced today? out there, right. Yep. What have you seen over the past months and, and maybe even beyond the season in Ken Dorsey and how prepared and ready he is? confidence of how ready he is for this moment. Well, you know, all you all you can do is work at it, right? And and Ken's an extremely hard worker. He's very conscientious in his approach uh, as well. And um, there's there's a first time for everyone in terms of the experience factor. And this will be his first time. And uh, as I share with some of our young coaches, this this will this will be an, uh, quite an introduction to the NFL opening the season uh, on national television. But uh, that makes it fun, you know, and, and uh, I'm sure he'll learn a lot. We'll learn a lot, and we support one another, and, and we go to work. I'll go back to um, captains Josh was asking about earlier. What's the difference between being a captain on a veteran group that's already kind of achieved some of the things you guys have achieved versus when you first came in and you had to set the room right? You know, I mean, what's the difference of what you're looking for and what the role is of those guys? Yeah, but, you know, I think because of the, the core expectations just in-house and the messaging and the, and the culture, the continuity to that piece is, is, uh, is already established. And, and what those guys do, um, you know, there are those that have come before them in some way, but also they have now carried the torch for, in some cases, more than one year uh, on that captain, uh, on that captain uh, board there. So... Um, you know, I count on those guys a lot, but it's just not them. I think, you know, there's other guys, too, that I, that I count on, that we count on as a team to lead our football team. And that's the hard part of these electing these captains. Uh, although it's a great honor, there come, that comes with great responsibility, number one. But also there's other players on our team that, um, to me, wear an invisible C on their, on their chest uh, because of what they bring to our football team and how they steady us and how they inspire us. And, and, uh, and add value to our football team overall. I'm sorry, there's so much focus on the quarterback, and you have these big moments like, like Thursday, and Josh has seemed to really embrace those. But, you know, he, he likes the moment. What does that do for your whole team going in when they know that going in? Not that it's going to play great every time, but that he does shine as opposed to slide back in a big moment. Yeah, I think the moment's what you make of it, right? I mean, uh, Josh has a great way about him in terms of his demeanor, um, how he handles things on the field, off the field, as you know, the fans well know uh, by now. And, and I think that runs through our team because of his leadership with that. Um, you know, he's very process oriented. He, he puts in the work. And um, you know, maybe it's from growing up around the family he, gr he grew up around and the support that he had and the, and the way he was raised and the way that he handles things like that. Obviously, Cup gets a lot of attention there. Stafford. Their running game, though, looks like. I mean, Henderson, I remember Henderson had a great game here against you guys a couple of years ago. Acres in the mix. Is that something that really <laughs> need to worry about? I mean, it's not just their passing game that's dangerous there? Yeah, they've got multiple ways that they can attack you, and, and they're explosive. I think Sean does a great job of calling it and, and game planning, and uh, um, he's as good as there is out there. So, um, you know, I think we'll have a big challenge there, and. Um, again, it's got to be it's got to be good team defense overall. Uh, there could be. I mean, we'll work through those, um, and 
have a ton of confidence in, in the coaches in that room and also the uh, also Sam and, and T Bass and, and Reed in this case. Uh, very pleased. Yeah, he seems to fit right in, and uh, he's a veteran player, so he's he's seen a lot of football, and um, you know seems very poised in his approach as well. Jordan in the red non-contact last week. Uh, how optimistic are you that he'll be good to go Thursday? Yeah, um, we're trending in that direction. Um, so I'll be surprised if he isn't, Josh. So I plan on him uh, being out there today, and we'll see how he does. There's a really slow ramp up for Spencer throughout training camp. What what makes you feel that he's ready to go full bore now that the regular season's here? Well, I think the key word there that you mentioned is ramp up. Um, he's been able to ramp it up, and and um, in particular the last couple of weeks here. And I give him a lot of credit. He's, he's come off of an injury and a surgery, and um, our training staff the same way. They've worked together, and I think the communication seemed uh, to run fairly smooth there, and, and it's gotten him to where he is. So uh, we'll see how he does today. We'll be in pads and um, you know, just take it one day at a time here.